Friday. So, you know, we have a few people from each side. I come on out, have have a little fun this Friday from 6 to 7. And uh, get a chance to meet everybody, you know, uh, chit-chat for a little bit. We'll try to get everybody a chance to say a few words, you know, have a little fun. Maybe play a few <laughs> games if y'all want to. Uh, whatever you want to do. But Ben is going to the show tonight, team. Ben got a great workout for you all. That was some great moves this morning, Ben. Right on. I love Are we it. boxing? No, Thursday we'll do that again. Okay. Thursday, <laughs> yeah, my thighs were killing me the whole weekend from Thursday's workout. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It was like this part right here for me, like this weird muscle that I don't work. Right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> like the lower end of my bicep. <laughs> oh, yeah, here too, and, but yeah. Oh yeah, with well, that full extension with the shoe, with the uh, punch. Yeah, sure. Nice. Yeah. Exciting. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna mix it up. So tomorrow we're doing kettlebells, right, Ben? Tomorrow evening. We're doing yoga tomorrow oh, yeah. morning. Kettlebells tomorrow evening, and then Thursday is boxing, and then Friday morning is legs, and then Saturday is yoga. But then next week we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna do kettlebells or dumbbells, depending upon what you have for Monday. And then I was thinking, Ben, we do cardio kickboxing that Tuesday. Okay. And then we'll we'll take them there. You and I work out the details from there. So, but I made you the host, man. It's your show. I'm about to go right on, team. With family. So, all right, so have a great <laughs> night, everybody. And Jen, it's, it's good to have you back in class, Jen. Jen can't get up in the mornings anymore. <laughs> Unless it's yoga. <laughs> it's not yoga. She's not getting up anymore. <laughs> all right, good night, family. Have a good night. Have fun. Good night, Clarence. All right, buddy. All right, team, start with marching glute bridges. Flat on your back. Pick up your foot, point it straight at the sky, and then try to make it hit the sky by pushing through your heel. Getting a full glute bridge. Alternating right and left. Yep, yeah, we're going to do upper body mostly today. Upper body and core. If anything doesn't feel right, guys, ever, if you're uh, suffering through any kind of joint pain, hip pain, knee pain, back pain, anything we do today uh, gives you trouble, just unmute real quick and ask me for a regression. I'll probably give you regressions before you ask, um, or rather, we'll start with the regressions and then we'll work our way up so you'll always be able to come back to the what you were able to do without pain. There's a couple of the advanced things we're going to try tonight are a little twisty. Kind of exciting though. All right, knees tight together, tick tock it side to side. Keep your shoulders flat on the ground. Don't let them pop up. Knees tight together, tick tock it side to side. Keep those legs tied together, team. Don't let the shoulders pop up at all. Keep the shoulders glued to the ground. Looking great. All right, change it into a leg sweep. Basically the same thing, just one leg at a time. Kick it over to the hand that's outstretched on the other side. Don't have to hit it, just have to aim for it. Once again, keep those shoulders tight to the ground above all. Don't let them pop up. We'll get a nice hip stretch, glute stretch. Outstanding. These first few are slow and low. Get a nice stretch out of it. Try to lock out your knee if you can. Outstanding, flip it over into plank. Hands right beneath the shoulders, feet about shoulder width apart, turn in your elbows so your shoulders are screwed in nice and tight, pick up your abs, tuck your tailbone, and you'll be doing a nice plank. From here, all we're gonna do is pick up one leg about 90 degrees like that. We're gonna flip it over, find the ground with our heel, push and reach into a glute bridge from the side. Put it all back, pick the other leg up, flip it over, find the ground, give it a push and a reach. And put it all back. Squirt and stretch. Look up along your arm.
Good, good, good. Make sure you're finding the ground with your heel. Don't push through your toe. Just like that marching glute bridge. We want to get that heel pushed into the ground so we can really get our glutes firing as we push up and really give it a good reach. Everybody looks great. Alternating side to side, almost there. Outstanding. Back to plank, hands right beneath the shoulders. Pick up those abs, check your tailbone, make sure everything's nice and straight. From here, lower your chest down into push plank with nice low elbows and shoulders. And push back into downward dog. Reach your heels towards the ground, make sure your legs are nice and straight. Chest is down towards the ground, but your butt's way up. Chest down again, stretch it up. <laughs> Upward dog, make sure not to shrug. Keep your shoulders pinned back behind you like you're holding a pencil between your shoulder blades. Nice wide chest. Chin up. Chest down, push it back. Downward dog again. And chest down, stretch it up. <coughs> Upward dog. And up on your feet, hand way out, T-stretch. Everybody looks great. Keep going. Everything nice and straight. Hinge at the hip. Come down almost until your back is totally flat to the ground. Parallel. And change it into a quad stretch. Hold on to your foot just long enough to get your knee behind your hip. Once the knee's behind the hip, you got to stretch in the quads. But not really before that, though. Nice. Change it into a hip stretch. Pull your shin parallel to the floor. All right, runner stretch. Take your left leg into your chest. Swing it all the way back. Keep it nice and straight. Hands down on the inside. Stretch it up sideways. Look up along your arm, hand down, other hand up. Frame up the foot, one hand on each side. Pick up the toes, drop the knee. Try to get a nice hamstring stretch. Stretch up your chest as well. Step it all the way up. Right leg. Take it in, swing it back. Keep it all nice and straight. <laughs> one hand and the other, looking up along the arm. And down the outside, straighten it up. And step it all the way up. One more time on each side, team. Left and right. Left leg, tuck it under your chest. Swing it all the way back. Keep it nice and straight. Hands down the inside, up sideways. One more time on the right side. It is really nice out. Looks like almost everybody's inside. But it's nice out, team. Nice wide legs, last one. Hands up under the imaginary rope. We're going to stretch it up and over and get a full left side stretch under the rope and over full right side stretch. Fingertips to toes. Outstanding, guys. And everybody got some music playing, hopefully. We're going to do a quick circuit, and then we'll do another circuit.
The first circuit we're gonna repeat three times. And this is what we're gonna start building a little bit. So we'll start with an easy version, relatively easy. And then we'll build it as we go. If you don't wanna to continue to build some of these basic moves, just stick with the basic one because they're always real good to do. What we're gonna start with, very simply, is a burpee all the way down and all the way up, make it big. Easy enough, after that, crab walk kickouts. For that, we're gonna be in crab walk position, butt as high as you can, and kicking out. What you don't wanna do here is shrug. Don't let your head fall into your shoulders. Keep it all real nice and high. That way we'll be working our upper back traps. We're really getting our triceps here, especially when you bounce that kick out. That's number two. Number three. And side kickouts for over in beast position. We were working on this a little last week. Knees are low, shins are parallel. Screw the elbows in. Make sure the joints are stacked. Wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Pick up one hand, kick it out, put it all back. Pick up the other hand, kick out the other leg, put it back. Not much to it. And finally, that's number three. Number four, hands behind the ears. We're gonna connect elbow to alternating knee from nice wide feet. If that's pretty easy, go ahead and skip it instead. Connect elbow to alternating knee, try to use your waist. Easy enough, we're gonna start with burpees, normal burpees. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to switch. Get ready, get set. First set of burpees, hit it, go. Nice, Jen, hard out of the gate, looking good. Great, guys, keep it up. Step it back if you have to. Grace, your regression is perfect, I like it, keep going, keep doing that. Looking good, Grace. Everybody's reaching for the sky way up there. I love it. Big jumps. Looking great, team. Looking great. Just a few more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. In 15 seconds, we're going to be in crab walk position and we're going to be kicking it out. Make sure not to let your head fall into your shoulders, guys. Pick that chest up. Get your head out of your shoulders. Nice long neck. Kick it out in three, two, one. Do it. Step it out if you have to, otherwise, give me that skip, replacing one foot with the other. Yeah, kick, kick, kick. You're really working a lot of the arms here, guys. You're bouncing on those triceps. A little bit of upper back, too. Those traps are working real hard to keep you up. Of course, we got plenty of core here going on, too. And we're almost through this little bit. It's about 10 more seconds. Kick it out, kick it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Flip it over into beast position, hands beneath the shoulders, stack it up, screw the elbows in, kick up one hand, kick it out, other hand, kick it out. Left, right, and three, two, one, do it. Let's see, let's see. Aronson, you know how to do this so well. Show everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's real under control. Always come back to that beast position, which is those parallel shins, nice low knees on the balls of your feet. <laughs> Looking great, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Back up on your feet. In 15 seconds, hands are behind the ears. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Give me that nice skip if you can. Ooh, in five, four, three, two, wide legs, fire. Yeah. 
Yeah, step it out if you have to. Otherwise, give me a skip. 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 It's a little left and righty. Cross your body if you can. All the way across. Melissa, that looks great. Aronson, that looks great. Keep going with that skip. Give me that nice skip. Yeah, Sargon, that's awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. We're coming back around round two. This time, that burpee is going to be a little less simple. We're going to take a step, a step, down, back up, step, step, down, back up. Two side shuffles and a burpee. Two side shuffles and a burpee. In three, two, one, do it. If you don't have room to shuffle, you can just keep burping or just step out one. Otherwise, guys, cross some ground for me. Give me two wide steps. That's perfect, Dolio. I like it. Yeah. Woof, woof. And down. Stay nice and low. Keep those legs bent. Hips pushed back. Lots of energy, guys. Lots of energy. Yeah, Jen. Looks great, Jen. 10, 9, 8, 7. Close. Give me a couple more. 3, 2, 1, and time. We're not going to add a thing to this one. Hands behind your, or in line with your shoulders. Crab walk position. Kick it out. Out, 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 out. In 3, 2, 1. Grab walk, kick out, hit it. These are for your arms. We do lots of arms tonight, team. It's for your core, it's for your legs, it's for your cardio, but it's really for your arms. This is cool on your triceps. Your triceps are important because it's the easiest muscle to casually flex. I'm doing it right now. Keep going, keep going. All you gotta do is put your hands in your pockets. Like lean on a desk too. Seven. You go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Roll it over. Until you really get the hang of this, guys. No need to really speed it up too fast. Make sure we're in that nice beast position on the balls of your feet. All five toes on each side. Nice low knees, parallel shins to the ground. Make sure the joints are stacked, wrist under shoulder, under, or under elbow, under shoulder, and then screw those elbows in. Pick up one hand, out, back, out, back, like you're a machine built to do this. In three, two, one, hit them. Jen and Aronson, go ahead and add a donkey kick in between each one. Anybody else advance, throw a donkey kick in there too, in between each one. Yeah. Yeah, Sonny. Sonny, that's outstanding. Okay. Sonny, the next one's gonna be for you when we do this again. Five, four, three, two, one. And time, very nice, we're back up. Hands behind the ears. Elbow to knee. In three, two, one. Hit it, give me that skip, go. Try to spread your feet as far apart as you can, guys. The further your feet are apart when you start this and the further you put them back, the more the obliques, the side abs are really gonna come into play here. Or maybe it's obliques. I still haven't looked that up. Obliques or obliques. It's one of the two. 20 more seconds. Keep going. Yeah, Veronica. Give me that skip. Give me that skip. Light on your feet. 15 seconds. Bop. 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 10, 9, 8. Keep going. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And time. Coming back around to round three in 14 seconds. Take two big steps. One, two, left hand down, out, back, side, side, right hand down, back. Move to the left, 
Put your left hand down, kick it back. Move to the right, put your right hand down. Kick it back in three, two, one. Hit it. Now it's a single hand burpee. Feel free to add the one-handed push-up. I didn't. I elected not to try that. That's outstanding. Malik, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it, guys. I love it. Keep going. Left hand on the left, right hand on the right. Feel free to back it up to two hands or just a standing burpee if you need to. Keep going, guys. Last time we're doing burpees today. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. <laughs> and down in crab walk position. Kick it out. Last time we need to do this too. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Crab walk kick out. Let's go. Kick it out, kick it out, kick it out, kick it out. Hit a team, hit a team, hit a team. Yeah. All right, Anderson, kick it out. Come on, bounce it out, bounce it out for me. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Feel that in your arms, shoulders, back, traps. Trap master flex. Aronson, Trappington Bear. Keep going. Almost there, guys. Almost there. 15 seconds. Kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. Don't step it out unless you have to. This is the last time we're going to have to do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flip it over into beast. Hands beneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers. Screw those elbows in. All five toes on each side. Pick one hand up. Kick it out. Stay with that if you want, or if you add the uh, donkey kick, try not to put your foot down on the ground first. And just go to the other side. Or back it up to left and right. Side kick outs with a burpee or not, and three with a uh, donkey kick or not. Three, two, one, kick it out, go. Easy. A little more advanced, add the donkey kick. A little more advanced than that. Don't put the foot down before the donkey kick. Three versions, one, two, and three. Do what you like, just like Digital Underground. Not that I'm showing my age. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Back up, hands behind the ears, nice wide legs. Skip, 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 skip. In five, four, three, two, standing abs, go. Good. Nice, Grace. Just about 15 seconds left. Keep going, keep going. Give me that skip. Keep that energy. Last time for these. Last time for these. These are easy. This is the easy part. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and time. Grab a drink of water real quick, guys, and grab your dumbbells. <sighs> Give me a thumbs up if you have a kettlebell. Who has a kettlebell here? No thumbs up. Oh, I see one, a couple maybe. So that kettlebell class Clarence is talking about tomorrow night, it'll work with dumbbells. So if you want to attend, we are going to be doing funny things with dumbbells, but it'll, it will work with dumbbells. So. Bring your two dumbbells if you don't have a kettlebell. If you have a kettlebell, maybe bring your dumbbells anyway, because you can swing a dumbbell, no problem. 
All right, guys, just a couple exercises here. By a couple, I mean four. We're going to start, because I was just talking about swinging with a kettlebell. We're going to swing our dumbbells to rack. We've got about a hip width stance here with our feet, not too wide. So this way, I have plenty of room on each side of my legs to not hit myself here. Nice wide chest, shoulders all the way back. From here, I'm going to hinge my hips back. All the stretch is in the hamstrings. Nice neutral lower back. Lower back's not doing much here. Nice and neutral. My hamstrings and glutes have everything. Start a little hike just to get you started and push the hips forward like you're closing a cash register with just your hips. Can you imagine that? From here, we're gonna rah rah like a cheerleader. One, two, three, four, down and swinging back up. One, two, three. Four. Start with the other side that time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seesaw press. Four seesaw presses for every hinge and swing to rack. Notice through all that, my elbows are tight right here. Remember, just like a cheerleader, we don't want them way out here. One right in front of us. One, two, three, four. Like a seesaw, one comes up. While the other comes down. Let's try that for one minute. Get ready, get both dumbbells. Now right by your hips, we've got a nice narrow stance. Hinge the hips back, stretch the hamstrings, keep the chest up, keep the chin up. Start a little hike. And when you're ready, throw those hips forward. Stand up straight. One, two, three, four, and back down. Three, two, one, hit it. Nice, Jen. One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two. Guys, you can let them swing back from that rack. Swing them. Oof. Let that momentum go with you as you swing those hamstrings back from here. All the way back down. And push it one more time. All through here. Push to a standing position, just like a deadlift. Keep going. It's hard to cheat with a seesaw press. Don't lean back, no matter what you do. Never ever lean back, even if that song is on. Not while you're working out, anyway. Five. Oh, 15 seconds, keep going, keep going. A couple more, a couple more. A couple more reps and we're good. Yes, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Very good. So that was a little complicated. Let's go to something a little easier. Basic renegade row. Now here's where we're going to change it up just a tiny bit. If you just want to do a renegade row, the easiest version is a flat hand on the ground. The other hand has your dumbbell. Row it nice and tight. Put it back. And if you want to alternate, you can just switch hand and dumbbell here. A little more support if you're having shoulder trouble. If you're a baller today, go ahead and grab onto both dumbbells, hold them tight like you're trying to choke a snake that's trying to bite you, if you can imagine that. Okay, now if that's easy, if that's real easy, row and put it forward and catch your feet up, keep your legs straight. Then you'll have to turn around. That becomes a Terminator row. Let's try that for 60 seconds. Renegade row or Terminator row. Either one dumbbell or two. Alternating in three, two, one. Do it. It's a solid plank of the uh, it's very good. Guys, try to get your chest closer to the ground than your shoulders are. That will spread the chest and give you a better chance of engaging your lats and keeping that dumbbell tight to your body as you row it up. What we really want is the elbow so tight to the body, it's like you're holding an iPad between your upper body and your arm in the morning 
You know how they're cold in the morning, slippery. Keep going, 15 more seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Almost there. Keep rowing. Don't have to stick that elbow way, way up. Just row it up and tight. Switch it up in three, two, one, and time. Outstanding. Now we're going to be flat on our back. I hope that sounds okay. Flat on the back. We're only going to need one dumbbell. This is a Turkish chest press. Very easy. All you got to do is set up like you're going to do a single dumbbell chest press except for my foot that I've got my dumbbell is flat on the ground. The other one is out here about like 30 degrees or so. What's more important is my free arm. My free arm is down here about 45 degrees. It's not stretched way out to the side. It's down here nice and comfortable okay because when I push this dumbbell up straight over my chest feel that pec contract. Keep your eye on your dumbbell. Roll up onto your elbow and then right back down again. We're gonna try to move that in one smooth move. Easy enough. Give that a shot on the right side. Right foot is flat on the ground. Right hand has your dumbbell, the elbow is low. Free hand is down at 45 degrees, so you can roll right up to it. Get ready. Show them how it's done, Jen. Right hand, get set, go. Look at your dumbbell. Look up at your dumbbell. Do not take your eyes off. There we go. This is important for kettlebells too. Do not take your eyes off that little bugger. That thing operates in its own set of rules. Aliyah, can you come all the way up to your elbow? Can you roll all the way up so you're balanced on your forearm on the ground? Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, isn't that harder? And more fun. <laughs> yeah, just press that bad boy up and then go ahead and roll onto that elbow. You're going to push your hip forward and lock it. Push that foot straight into the ground. Try not to let it lift. Your right foot needs to be flat on the ground and pushing, giving you plenty of stability. Seven, six, five, four. Keep your eye on it. Three, two, Malika, that was perfect. One, and time. Switch it up to the other side. That's pretty easy, right? Got my left foot flat on the ground now. Other leg is out about 30 degrees, not right in front of you. My dumbbell's in my left hand. My shoulder's low. My shoulders are pulled back together like I'm holding a pencil between my shoulder blades. So this elbow's nice and low very naturally. Push it up. Pop it up. Here we go. And in five, four, three, two, eight. Nice. This is not the hardest part of a Turkish get up. It's the heaviest part, though. Keep going, keep going. Left side's a little weird, isn't it? <laughs> Adjust where your free hand is. Maybe it's too low. Bring it up to about 45 degrees relative to your body. Ah, uh, looks a little nicer. Yeah. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Nice, Grace. Lock it all the way out when you're up, Grace. Nice, Jen. Keep your eye on that cat on dumbbell. Keep your eye on them. There we go. Important part of your balance and form. Just keep those eyes where they need to be. Five. Almost there. Fifteen more seconds, guys. A couple more. A couple more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One and time. Now we're going to roll it over just like the renegade rows. You can be on one dumbbell or two. I'm going to show two because my wrists or shoulders are doing okay today. Now, here's the regressed version, guys. One foot, one, one hand down, 
to be flat on the floor, spread the fingers, screw the elbows in, right? Rack it and push it up and put it back down. Roll it to the other side. Remember, follow your dumbbell with your eyes. Always want to keep those eyes up. Now, if you are a baller today, instead of just launching it up from plank, we're going to pick that leg up, flip it over, find the ground, rack it that way, and give it one and two. Then put it all back, turn it into a scorpion press. Two presses per scorpion maneuver. Other foot up, over, rack it, one, two, and down. Everybody else, just give me the push from plank and alternate. Easy enough? Ben, is yes. it okay if we if we find that we can't balance, can we put the one hand that's not lifting or just on the ground? Yes, yes. So a flat hand on the ground and a dumbbell on the other, that's going to be the most stable way, right? By right. far. Okay. So you can do that just like the uh, renegade rows. So yeah, holding onto the dumbbell while it supports you is actually really tough which is why I keep telling you guys to hold it like you're choking a snake that wants to bite you, right? You're making dumbbell lemonade. Get it really deep in your palm. It changes like how the whole way that your uh, body is working actually. All right, give it a shot guys, here we go. In five, four, any version you like. Try the hard one, two, one, do it. Feel free to step around a little bit, guys, if you need your balance in between reps. Your feet don't always go right back where they need to be. Sometimes you gotta step a little bit. Let's see it, let's see it. Nice, Jen. You really want one leg straight and the other one Heel to the ground. That's a great version of Leo. That looks good. Looks real solid. Lots of core going on here, guys. Tons of core. Lots of lateral stabilizing muscles. Getting lots of work. And of course, your chest and shoulders. Yeah. Sticking around for that extra one makes all the difference. Keep going. Keep going. We got about 15 more seconds, guys. This is a good one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. That was circuit one. Get a quick drink if you need it. We're gonna do that exact thing again to make sure we get good at it. Quick drink, quick drink, not too much. I hope everybody had some carbs and lots of water. How are you for your workout? What's up, Lindsay? <laughs> Chilling. All right, we're back. Starting with our swing to a seesaw press. Swing into a rack. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four. Easy enough, get ready. You is set. One minute, go. Remember to hinge those hips back as stretch the hamstrings. Keep the lower back nice and neutral. Keep your chest high. I should always be able to read your t-shirt. I always think of superheroes. Big red S on your chest. I should see it. Even when you hinge back, that chest up, the shoulder should be back. I tell clients all the time, the main difference between supermodels and Avengers and normal people is posture. Can't say it enough. Shoulders back, chest up. Yeah, like you own the place. That's how you should act, like you own the place. Shoulders back, chest up. And if there's two doors, you should use both of them. Keep going, keep going, guys. 12 more seconds. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Renegade rows in 15 seconds. Either hand on the ground for stability. That's always good. I like to roll my dumbbell from one side to the other when I'm like that. Because I have to catch it and it makes me act a little faster. If you're using that hand down, maybe try that. Bring a little more intensity to it. Or grab both dumbbells and keep those wrists straight. That's cool too. Here we go in five, four, three, two, renegades, go. Pick those abs up, team, like someone's gonna take a kick to the stomach. Pull those abs defensively. Keep his elbows tight, keep the chest nice and wide. At all times, chest should be wide, shoulders should be back, even in plank. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, Olivia, nice. Nice, Sonny. Come on, Aaron, come on, Aaron, get those knees up. Come on. Veronica, it looks like I'm taking your workout video. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Give me a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. And time, outstanding. Okay, Turkish chest press. And we were just getting good at that. Oh, I lost my mat. Make sure your elbow's down towards your hip. Make sure this uh, uh, hand that you're about to roll up to is not way out in front of you. Make sure it's down at 45 degrees. Push it up, roll it up, and back down. Turkish chest press on the right side. Here we go. In five, four, three, two. One, do it. Use those abs, pop that hip, push through that foot. That is flat to the ground. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Great, great, that's great. You need to go up to the hand, just lock up on that elbow. Push that hip in and lock it. Yeah, straighten that arm. Ella probably got the wrong foot on the floor. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like opening a door. Almost there, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And time. Very nice. Switch it to the other side. So if our left hand has it, our left foot will be on the ground. Our right foot will be just out in front of you. A little bit out to the side. Left foot, left hand, rolling up to the right elbow. Here we go. In three, two, one. Other side, go. Nice. There. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Looking fantastic. Just about 30 more seconds. 30 seconds to get it right. Nice, Jen. Nice, Jen. Jen, your dumbbell should be like 20 pounds heavier. Do you have any duct tape? You can put, like, you can, you can tape two together. Keep going. 15 more seconds. Nice, guy. Outstanding, team. Outstanding. 10, 9, 8. Lock it out. Come on, give me the last couple. Lock them out. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
want and time outstanding. Your abs just stop working, don't they? <laughs> it's like, nope, not rolling. All right, front plank. One, four, pan down on the ground. One, alternate. Just staying in plank with a nice shoulder with stance. Everybody else, if you're advanced, pick up that leg, flip it over, find the ground, rack it, give me one, give me two, and back over. Get your balance, rack, one, two, back in, ready. Get set, scorpion presses, go. Yes. Nice, outstanding, outstanding. <laughs> nice team nice keep going i know your arms are going to start giving out your hips are going to start hitting the floor a little bit that's cool we've gotten a lot of toothpaste out of the tube although you have no idea what we're about to do what that expression means keep going 20 more seconds that's real solid looking, Malika, real solid looking. Nice plank. Nice scorpion press too, Jen. Oof, yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, uh, very good. Five, four, three, two, one. And time, very good. So, you know how we don't do a whole lot of stuff for arms? And anyway, I purposefully programmed this workout to be a little light on the cardio and a little slower and lower and range of motion focused because Clarence has been running you guys like I did a rod. Um, so I figured we could use a tiny little bit of break of that, go a little slower and lower and maybe do some things we don't normally do, particularly for upper body. So a few of you will really enjoy this. <laughs> this is an arm gauntlet, all we're gonna do is curls with your elbows nice and tight and shoulders back and wide chest, weights on the outside, elbows tight to the body. We're gonna curl and curl until you can no longer squeak out a clean rep. And by that I mean you need to give it too much assistance or God forbid you're leaning back, don't ever do that, okay? Or the burn, if you have light dumbbells, the burn might get to you, it just might give you too much to continue. So when you're done, and can't do any more, we're gonna get on our back, straighten our hands out in front of us with our dumbbells, and put them right next to your head. Nothing moves but the elbows, tricep extensions here. Do those until you're at failure. Can't squeak out another one. And these are heavy, so I'm pretty close already. And since that was my last clean rep, oh, curl again. When I can't do any more clean ones of those, right back down tricep extension now i might be able to get to two or three like that and i can't do that weight anymore i didn't bring a whole bunch of weights so what i'm gonna do is and i can't squeak out one clean rep anymore i'm gonna get one dumbbell and hold it by the end caps there we go that i can do when i'm done with those skull crushers don't actually crush your skull but you know kind of get the idea two dumbbells to one dumbbell curls to tricep extensions two dumbbells down to one till you're done till you can't do any more get ready we're gonna put a cap on this four minutes get set do it get those shoulders wide team chest wide before you get started with those curls. We never want the shoulders to be forward or pulling forward when we start a curl. We need the shoulders way back, ridiculously back. There we go, that stretches the bicep. If we have a good stretch in the muscle, we get a good contraction when we go to lift. Must have that good stretch though, otherwise we're gonna start running into shoulder problems. Bicep problems and shoulder problems are hard to distinguish. Nice. Who's almost done? Who can't do any more yet? 
Oh, a couple people dropping out of view. They're hitting the ground. There it is. Lee is doing tricep extensions. Veronica, you're done. <laughs> tricep extensions. There we go. Put those dumbbells straight up on top of you. And if you're really good, get those elbows a little bit behind you so you can pre stretch the triceps before we get that contraction. Go until I always know I'm done with these because my elbows start to chicken wing out to the side. I can't have that. Once the elbows start to chicken wing out to the side and I can't keep them in line with my wrists and shoulders anymore, that's how I know I'm done. So give them a break by doing some curls. There it is, Sonny. There it is, Sonny. More curls, more curls. There we go. Come on. Pump it out. Pump it out. Yeah, Lindsay, pumping that iron. Aronson, that was look fantastic. Those uh, tricep extensions are beautiful. Keep going, guys, keep going. Hold those dumbbells, squeeze them. Squeeze them close in your palm. Wrap those fingers around them, choke it. There we go. Brent, yeah, can you show the, um, the two dumbbells again on the ground? So they're straight up, straight elbows. And then, actually what's even better is if I can bring them a little far back. See that? Straight arms, but they're a little bit behind me. That way I'm stretching between the back of my shoulder and the back of my elbow, my triceps, before I get started. Elbows, wrists, and shoulders in a perfect line, team. Once they start to chicken wing out, you're done. We got about a minute and 10 seconds. Who's ready to go down to a single dumbbell yet? Malika, less shoulder, no shoulder. Yes, no shoulder. It takes a lot of control, which usually means you want lighter weights for an exercise that takes a lot of control like that. We're working with what we got. I only brought 75, so that's what I got to do. I'm kidding. About 30 more seconds, guys. Ooh, no one dropped to one dumbbell, I don't think. No one got to one dumbbell. Even on tricep extensions. Yeah, there it is, Ella. Keep going. Keep going. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Now stand, drop those dumbbells like they're hot. Shake it out a little bit, guys. You probably got a mean pump in the upper arm because opposing muscle group supersets like that are purpose built for a workout when you're on your way to a pool party. Make you look great for a couple hours. It's a good exercise. Gives you a mean pump. All right, get rid of your dumbbells. We got about five minutes to do some fun ab stuff. We're gonna start with C ups. C ups are very easy. A lot going on here though. So we're gonna start right here. Hands are by the side for stability. Pick your head up a little bit. Abs are nice and tight. Feet are out in front of you about six inches above the ground. Now, all we're gonna do here is bring the knees up to your chest. Roll your butt up and come into a shoulder stand as you kick your legs back out in front of you. Now, my legs never extend while they're up here. They stay 90 degree angles from here. And down. So my feet end up pointing that way, just like you're doing now. My feet in this position and my feet in that position are both pointing in the same direction. We don't want your feet flailing above you. You want to control that whole weight of your lower body with the abs. Now, if that's a little too hard, roll your knees into your chest, roll it back out straight, take your hips up off the ground, keep it nice and slow and under control. 
Get one minute to get it right. Get it in three, two, one, do it. Malika, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. No one's ever picked it up that fast, literally. Although it's not like invented damn things. I bet you saw it somewhere else, probably. <laughs> <laughs> like wow you guys know what push-ups are get those feet out in front of you Jen they don't need to be behind pointed behind you if you want to point it in front of you legs like a C those like that yeah feet coming at you nice slow and in control that's better Jen yeah but back the way you came <laughs> Yeah, there we go. We're controlling that shoulder stand a lot more. We're going real slow. Yes, good. Your abs love this kind of stuff, promise. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And time, not bad. That was pretty easy. Let's try something kind of like that. So we're gonna roll a little bit. Hands are gonna be like you're diving, one hand over the other, and I stretched out arms. I'm gonna have one leg out in front of me. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring my upper body all the way up, like a sit up. From here, I'm gonna push through my leg. Now, for, this is the part you can ignore if you want to. Up and back yeah, down. Up and back down. Up and back down. Up and back down. Other foot stays up. Try it with the left foot in front. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and do it. Only come up into that duck squat, guys, if you feel like a baller today. Give it a shot. Yeah, bring it up. Push through that. Yeah, it'll be good. Nice. Control on the way down. Yeah, there we go. It's all about that control, especially on the way down. Yeah. Your abs basically think you're falling. So they're tightening up really hard, really fast, getting a really good contractions. And of course, we're training for pistol squats. Because if you ever want to rub your fitness in somebody else's face, there's really nothing like, like uh, pistol squats. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. That was awesome, Jen. All right, try the other side. Push them through the other leg. Might be a little weirder. Here we go. In five, four, other side, two. Give me one minute. Go. Other foot's flat. Come on up, hands in front, push, control on the way down. Good, 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 good. I got this move from Saw 7. Y'all see that one? Keep going. 30 more seconds. Sounds like the right sounds. That is the sound it makes, this exercise. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Even if you're not succeeding hardly at all with this, guys, your abs are going crazy right now, just trying. Your abs give you a lot of credit for just trying, trust me. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, and time. And done, that was easy. All the way up on your feet, guys. You can unmute your microphones. Tell me how you feel. Are you sure you want to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Claire is here so I can curse, right? Say what? Say Claire is here, so that means I can curse, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This morning. Oh, sorry. Awesome, Ben. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. So if you don't have a kettlebell, remember, guys, bring your kettlebell tomorrow night. If not, bring your dumbbells and we'll make it work. 
All right, heavy things are good too. I don't know. It hey. sounded like a firecracker that came from over there. I didn't. I didn't see it though. I just saw smoke. Where? It looked like it came from somewhere over there. Where I don't I know am? where it came from now. You where I am? <laughs> oh. Hi. Maybe there. Plus, caps back here, and I didn't know about it. No, nah, it's, it's over by me. No. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. I gotta go. Nice guess. Bye-bye. Nice wild bye. legs team. See ya. Down to the middle. Down to the left. Down to the right. Back to the middle. Elbows under your knees and stretch up your chest. From here, give me three deep breaths. Outstanding, everybody. Hands in. Fit for life on three. Fantastic job. One, two, three. Fit for life. Fit for life. Fit for life. See you next time. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, ben. My Thanks, pleasure. Ben. Uh, well done, Malika and Ella. Thanks, bye. Bye-bye. Good job, Lindsay.